everyone, if you're new here, my name is Anna and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, or if you only come to my channel for these types of videos, which I don't mind if you do, so many people do, um, this is going to be a Primark haul. This is going to be a Primark haul. So I went into Primark today, it was a bit unexpected, so I went in there to take four bits back. I had um, three items for summer clothes, which I bought about two weeks ago, and they just didn't really fit. And then I also bought a Minnie Mouse, um, Mickey Mouse top, which was in my previous haul, which I liked. But they've changed the sizing in there, so I would usually buy 20, that's just what size I'd usually purchase in there. I can't find a size 20 in my store anymore. They now seem to have, um, they've changed the sizes up. They now go down to a size 4, and then a lot of the sizes are combined, so they do like a small, a medium, an L, and an XL. So what I would usually get, they don't do, they now do like an XL, which is an 18 to 20, which I sort of feel like they've now, they've now made the 20 a little bit smaller, so the 20 doesn't fit me as well as it used to now, so the 20 now no longer fits as well as it used to, so I just wanted to take some bits back, I went in there, I didn't have my receipt, but it usually didn't used to be an issue, I understand in some shops it is, but in Primark it has never been an issue, and in there today, there was a problem, they didn't want to take it back, um, they didn't want to take it back, I had a message from head office, they can't take anything back, without a receipt. In there as well, and there's a nice pair of leopard print trousers. They were lovely. They were £18. It's Primark. Would you pay £18 for a pair of trousers from Primark? Comment down below if you would, but I just don't feel like Primark's worth that, and I don't think the quality would show for a pair of trousers for £18. So I didn't pick a, quite a lot of bits up that I did like, but um, nevertheless, I did still get two big bags, and yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what I did get. This is my Primark haul. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's go with the video. So, the first thing we've got is this. This isn't mine, this is someone else. It's my brother. It's just a grey t-shirt. It's £2 and it's from the men's section. So, yeah, like men's ones have so much better like basic t-shirts. Yeah. Grey t-shirt, not mine, but someone else's. But that was at the top. Right, next up we've got, um, this is the first thing I saw. When I, when I went in, I wasn't intending to buy things to like haul or even buy a lot of things to generally haul. <laughs> but I did. So the first thing I saw was this. It's going to be very hard to show on camera, but I'll obviously do a try on. Um, this is a black t-shirt dress. See, look, this is an XL 18 to 20. So will it fit? I'm going to get makeup on it. Um, will it fit? We don't know. But it's just like, I'm not sure if it'll be everyone's cup of tea. And if it is just a little bit basic and a bit old school like older person i'm not sure but i don't care i really liked it it was just a gray black knitted dress the cars. i thought it would look nice with like maybe like a denim jacket over the top and maybe a pair of trainers or everway float should break winter but you don't be able to see it so basically it's a black dress it's long and it's like a black knitted skater dress it's gonna do no justice holding it up because you can't see because it's black but i do really like it um it was it was 10 pound it's got the new and improved sizing on it i don't believe any of this new and improved sizing nonsense it's not fit the st i bought a t-shirt the other week it didn't fit it was smaller so the new and improved isn't really working for me but we'll see yeah um we got this we'll see if it fits i think it will because it's a skater dress and it's obviously got a bit more stretch to it but whether or not it will fit in the right places, we're not sure, but we'll see. So um, yeah, let's see the try clip. Okay, right. So this is the first dress. I think it's flattering, but I'm not sure. Like if you can see it from here, I feel like this bit's quite flattering, but it goes along at the back, which I feel like makes me look bigger. It looks quite like, on the hanger it looked nice, and it looked like something that could work. But on, I feel like it looks very boring. Like it just looks like, oh, she's got a black dress on, and that's it. I think I'm gonna give it like, a six out of ten it didn't overwhelm me and i feel like if i was to take it back and think about it it'd probably still be there in like three months time so i think it's a no i looked excited on the hang up but now i'm just thinking about it, it's like it looks like i'm going to school it, i feel like i've got like a pinafore on like i'm going to school this is what it feels like sat here now i can picture myself at school so i think it's gonna be a no so next up oh i like this so this one is this is a shirt and Oh my god. I do think, yeah, my style isn't... Sometimes I do like think, like, oh, is my style as much as the same as other people my age? But I think I'm just more basic. I don't wear... I don't I don't go out with, like, friends. I'm not, like, a party dress person. I don't wear, like, 
I don't know, I just don't wear the same clothes sort of as some people my age. Like, I don't shop in Top Shop. It's not really, I don't shop in Top Shop or like out there places, say like Pretty Little Thing or something like that. But um, I do like a Disney item of clothing, I'm not gonna lie. I do. So um, obviously in Primark, it's no secret that Primark do do Disney ranges. And I saw this. And usually, I thought like when I went in there, honestly speaking, this is one of the nicest bits of Disney clothing I have ever seen in Primark. So basically, I thought of um, broken tape when I saw this. So I'm gonna, sh I want to show this to her. Um, so this is, it's a white shirt. I'm a sucker for shirts. If you've watched my Primark hauls, even from about two years ago, yes, there are Primark hauls that old on my channel. If you dig deep, um, yeah, there's this was twelve pound. I feel like the pricing is increased because it's Disney and that's just how Primark seems to work with the merchandise. So I'm cool about that. But it's this white shirt. It does feel like nice quality and it's got little tiny little Mickey Mouse heads. I just thought it was quite an understated but sort of grown up Disney item. I just thought it was a really nice like understated nice piece of Disney clothing. So yeah it looks like this and um, once again I got it in an 18 to 20 because that's what they had and um yeah it just looks like this and it's got Mickey written there and I really liked it and I just thought it was really nice and with her blue jeans and maybe some Vans or some Converse or some sandals or some flip flops or whatever floats your boat it could work and it was really nice and yeah it was 12 pounds so i picked that up it was next to like the jeans disney section in my primark so that may be like where it is in yours so yeah this shirt does not fit like it is a mess this is my favorite item as well look at the arms what is this tag does not match the size on the top the tag says an 18 20 inside it says a 14 16 so Really, really liked it though. Gutted. I think it looks really nice. And I feel like I work for Disney now. I love it. I'm gonna scoot my ass back down to Primark and try and find this in my size. Oh. So I got this one. This is quite basic, and I just wanted just wanted some basic clothes. And I don't really have I have a lot of like t-shirts, but I feel like in the transition it might be getting a little bit colder soon probably will be so i thought i'd pick up this and it's just a really slouchy stripy blue top and yeah it's long sleeve and it's got a pocket and it goes quite long i like something that covers like my front if you get me not about crop tops i'd rather something longer yeah but i just thought this for quite you know like you see the odd the odd little bit of basic clothing in H&M or Topshop. I thought it looked a little bit like that. So I thought I'd pick it up and yeah, six pound, I thought six pound was back on like Primark's level of pricing of clothing. Now, whether or not that made sense, I thought it was quite cheap for Primark and it was six pound and it's really soft. And I think once again with like jeans and stuff, it could look quite nice. So yeah, I picked that up and yeah, six pound. Right, so I've got the striped one on. I love it. I feel like an adult in it. I feel like I should probably bring you down though. How much do you like this? Like maybe you might not, but I really like this. I feel like it's very flowy. It's very like fitting and I just feel like there's a lot of like room in it. On the sleeves, I feel like it looks like with my watch, I feel like very grown up in it and I like it. I feel like with a pair of black skinny jeans. I feel like I'd be good to go. I really like this. There's a lot of like room in it and a lot of give. Um, I'm pretty sure I got an X out on this. Yeah, I got an 18 to 20, so it fits. Um, a lot of room. I'm definitely gonna keep this at six pounds. This is what I mean, like I feel, I feel like like the old cheap. Like, so this is the full thing. It covers me. I really like it. Room is in it. Love that. Six pound what a bargain. So yeah, next up we have got pajamas so next up um that is it for clothes they didn't have a lot in there i'm not racing primark at the moment i think like i've obviously shopped in there and i picked up some bits but i'm just not really sure about it at the moment i feel like there's a lot of things i liked but either a it was expensive or b i didn't think it would fit so i didn't think it was worth picking up so um yeah that's it for clothes except i did get some pajamas which is my favorite purchase from this haul and it's these 
how insane are they they are toy story pajamas so i'm 19 so obviously if you're the same age as me you grew up watching like like everyone i suppose Toy Story. So yeah, I do, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Disney and Toy Story. It's one of my favourite Disney films. So yeah. So um, yeah, I had to pick these up. I was very indecisive. I saw some Mickey Mouse ones and then I saw Rugrats ones. I'm a huge fan of Rugrats. If you saw my last haul, you've seen as well. Quite light and pink and I did like them, but then I saw these. And I love the cloud print because it obviously looks like Andy's room. And I loved how they were matching. So they sort of look like a onesie, but I don't like onesies because I feel like I'm really claustrophobic in them. So yeah, £10 and I got these in an XL. So yeah, pyjamas, really like those. They're one of my most favourite things in this haul. I can't wait to try them on and I will show you them on as well. So that's what they look like and I just think they're the, like the best things pyjamas i've ever seen so it is significantly later now my makeup has melted off my face but i've got my pyjamas on what they look like i'm in love and i'm obsessed considering the size i don't really think they're like that big fitting is quite annoying but at the end of the day anyhow i still love them this the room's a mess behind me but you have to ignore that this is what they look like um this is the aftermath of the try on but i'm obsessed so yeah i'm gonna be keeping these i think so i got some shoes and for shoes i just wanted to pick up another pair of these because i had like the chanel dupes ones and they lasted okay they didn't last the best but i don't think i'd be willing to spend like 10 pound on a pair again but i got these and these were 10 pound i'm in the south for a five pound so i picked up these i thought they were nice i got them in a size eight because that's what size i am and um yeah they're just nice little espadrilles with like little gold studs on and i just like them and yeah for five pound i thought i could pick them up and see how well they last and even if i don't wear them this year i can just put them away and save them for next year so yeah five pound and then oh so i watched um someone else's primark haul and i saw they picked up a pair of disney nails and i picked up the marie ones i'm not the biggest fan of marie as i've said before like um i'm not like not a fan but she's just not she's just not one of my favorite disney films if you get me but um I did like the design so I picked them up but then I wanted the aerial ones so bad really really bad so uh so yeah um didn't have them last time as my own key product like don't ever have anything like ever if there's something in at another Primark store they'll have it but Milton Keynes will not but um they came through I found one pair on the um in the handbag section on the floor so i picked them up and they were three pound and they were the little mermaid nails and look at the design on them like i don't know how well you can see but they are gorgeous like i absolutely love them like i think this one is my favorite just love them and obviously as you can tell the nails are not happening over here i hardly have any nails they're in the worst condition ever so i'll take all the help i can get and i do use like elegant touch nails like all the time but um how nice are these and they were three pounds so next up um i picked up a bedspread but i picked up this one and i really like this and it was nine pound and yeah so yeah as you can tell like behind me my walls are gray in my room and i have a lot of like copper and gold and it's just very neutral so i like to go for a bedspread which is also neutral so i picked up this one and as you can see there are some colors over it but i really like the other side where it's just like it's like this pattern but plain really nice and it's really basic i think it'll just look quite neutral in my room so i picked that up for um nine pounds and yeah i do rate primark bedspreads they're really good quality and they do last a really long time too so to go with that pick just picked up some new sheets because I got new bedding so I just wanted new sheets as well so then I picked up this dark grey one which was £4.50 and the two pillowcases which was £1.70 which is a bargain so I just picked up those two and yeah then I picked up some five microwavable cloths no microfiber cloths I don't really think these are mine <laughs> I think these are my mum's I think they might be my mum's pretty sure they're not mine but um yeah and then i got this in my room because i thought i've seen so many people say about these saying how nice they smell and they last such a long time and it's just one of these reed diffusers and i got the pearl gray pomegranate pomegranate and fig one and this was a pound so yeah i picked one of these up too so that is it for this primark haul i stayed away from the makeup 
because I didn't need any more makeup. And I do have some testing videos coming your way, including like the makeup I bought last time, so I didn't need any more makeup. I didn't pick any more up. Um, I feel like some of the clothes were quite limited, as I said, and I'm just not really like fitting in their sizes at the moment. So I didn't pick that much up, but that is all I got. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you go there, let me know if you found anything or tag me on in Instagram or something, cause I'd love to know. But thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for watching my channel for watching my channel if you're not already please make sure you subscribe because it means the absolute world to me thank you so much for watching bye